down and be taught. And he said, this is something we have talked about and we have agreed it has to start with the church. And we are the ones who can now tell the rest about peace. So it has to begin with us and we have agreed. We want to be trained, we, need to, we want to be helped on how to do this. And um, so I, I told him, because I was leaving the next day when we talked about this. So I told him I'll be back. And when I come back, I want you to bring some of the church leaders from the north so that we meet here and go through it. I want to hear it from each one of them so that it's not your word. Mm -hmm. I want to hear from everybody. Mm -hmm. Is it something all of you want? Mm -hmm. And when I went back, I called him and he said, oh, I'll ask them to come on a certain day, a certain time. So I asked him what they needed to sit together. Do they need water? Do they need food? So he said, we shall need water and sodas. Then we need food. <laughs> so I, I, I gave him money to buy food for them to cook. They bought water and soda. So I got, before I went there, I had to go and report to the prime minister's office that is in charge of the refugees. Because mm -hmm. it's a very volatile situation. They have fought there before. Even the smaller tribes who live there, they have fought. So they don't ever want them to mix. Mm -hmm. And so I had to go and get permission. Mm -hmm. And when I went, I was told you cannot go to meet those two together. Because anything can erupt and you'll be caught up. The situation will get ugly. We, do not, we shall not allow you to go. Mm -hmm. So I told, I told this guy, I'm not the one who came up with the idea. They requested me to go and meet with them. I don't even know who they are. I'm just going. And he told me, Rosemary, we cannot allow you to go. So I asked them if they could just let me go without me holding them responsible. Yeah. I can sign and say I'm going on my own volition and I shall not hold the government of Uganda responsible for anything that happens. So <laughs> this guy looks at me and asks me, do you know what you are signing for? Your own death sentence. I said, yes, I understand. I don't want you to be in trouble. Let me just go. Uh, if whatever happens, let it happen. Because I didn't ask for it. Uh, they asked me to go. So I went and they told me, when you come back, <laughs> come and tell us what happened. Come and give us a report. I said, I will if I'll be alive. But <laughs> yeah, so I went and for about an hour they were not coming, but Simon told me, Rosemary, let's wait for them. They are walking from very far. Uh, because there are 13 settlements, now 14, mm -hmm. since the July fighting. And they spread far and wide in that district. Um, so they are walking a distance uh, from a distance away, and they eventually came. And we had arranged chairs in the in the church building, and they were around. So I wanted everybody to see the other. So we sat around, and uh, Pastor Simon prayed. So I asked each one of them to say, "Why this meeting? What is it that you want?" And each one of them said they wanted to make peace with one another but not just them as those who sat there, but they wanted even for their communities so that when they go back, they can go back with a new message. Mm. Who was I not to say we can do it? Even when I didn't have money, I just said, yes, we <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's how silly I get. <laughs> I just told them, I told them we'll see what to do so I'll give you a call when I'm coming back to let you know what we will be doing yeah and it has happened for the past two years so last year we had four trainings one week each so we had four weeks of training last year and about week. how many people each time 20 so we have 10 from the Noel tribe and 10 from the Dinka. Wow. And if you saw the video, you saw a Dinka man and a Noel man there hugging mm -hmm. and saying we are brothers. I mean, for me, that just melts my heart.